Hello everybody, welcome to the replay of Runbad vs Gabias. It is an exciting, very exciting Lizardman mirror. Everybody loves those the most. Um, all block for Runbad in blue. And in red is Gabias who has got a guard Crocs and only five block. And in the booth is Elliot again, unfortunately, and Hancock. Yeah. Hello. Oh, wow, really um, really spicy build from uh, the Lizards here. <laughs> One going with guard and the other just six block. It's just nice to see some variation. <laughs> oh, well, there's a, there, that is a variation. Hey, there is a variation from Runbad because he's gone 13 players uh, rather than 12 and an apple. And he's instantly had a Saurus cast. <laughs> <laughs> Killed. Oh my! Well, God. the good news is he'd have only been able to apple one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's a, wow. That's a very rough stuff. Oh, that's unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, that's just like everybody's worst nightmare, right? You're getting two rules no matter who you are is pretty terrible. But lizards in particular, right? Yeah. It's just tremendous. I, I'm presuming that um, the the chap in red got the the kick off. Yes, yeah. Because in this format, surely that you don't go. No, I'm sure. Surely you wouldn't kick unless you were a Reddit enthusiast. <laughs> oh uh, no! He kicks the ball. He chooses to kick. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, run bad. I mean, it's not. It's not the worst, but I certainly wouldn't do it myself. No. No, I would receive and you know. Seriously injured a Saurus and knock out a Saurus. Seems a really good play. <laughs> what, 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 what happens if you don't seriously injure your Saurus? And what, what happens if they seriously injure your Saurus? Well, then you then you're pretty much screwed, aren't you? Like this is like it's it's not over. Like, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. Like over. honestly, I, it, to me, it's such a like a tough decision the defend receive thing. Like oh, overtime. L lends it more into the offence. Yeah, receive yes. for sure, I agree. But I don't know, for me, I don't know. It's, I'm still finding it tough to, to, to kind of think about. All the time removes any doubt for me, honestly. The, the yeah, it's 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 I, wanna, I wanna be able to expend the rerolls if I have to on, on defence to, to win. Or yeah. I want to be able to, you know, not expend any to go to overtime. And I want to definitely be able to use all of my rerolls on offense. Because, like, you know, offense is hard, right? You have to score on your own offense. So I have yeah. to, be able to spend all of my rerolls to score on offense. Yeah. But, I mean, like you said, you, you, you still want to be able to turn over and win, right? Like, so yeah. if you're defending second half... But you've got the you information might, like, of whether you succeeded on you your do. own drive as well, so... You do, you do. I really I like know, receiving with all the time. Really like it. Yeah, fair, fair. Oh, you'd be nice. Like, I mean, there's not lo like, there's not insane amounts in it, but yeah, I, I would also just just receive on. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, it's like the fact it's overtime. You know, like I think in NAF style. There's times when you'd kick because it would, you know, if you need the win and stuff, like, because of NAF style, like, you need the win a lot of the time, don't you? So, like, that sort of thing, so you know you know what you have to do. If, you know, if you've got a team that can score twice in one half, <coughs> then you can try that in the second half and stuff. You know, like how Veli did the two-turn and then try for the turnover. Ooh, spicy. Foul. Very spicy. Gets the go. Oh, wow. I'm not sure what you're already ahead. It's... Yeah. Feels like a way to, yeah. to not be ahead, personally. Yeah. And you get the skink. And you get oh. the skink removed, yeah. Rumbad has gone to Reddit school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, you uphill the Crocs. Um... Uh, you get a 2D on the Saurus, don't you? If you, yep. if you get it. Fair enough, I think. I mean, he, he hasn't got the players as he's got. No. He's got, <laughs> he's got a Crocs KO'd and two Saurus down. He hasn't really got much choice when it comes to box. 3D. Yeah. Here. I know. Rumbad was wondering. Rumbad was looking for people to cast this in particular, obviously, to like get some get some feedback and stuff. But honestly, like <laughs> the feedback from, from this drive is kind of going to be minimal, right? Because two Saurus down yeah, and the Crocs now, good. it's like, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Not much gameplay in it anyway, really, to some extent. No. 
Right, maybe there's some desperation things, right? Desp- oh, yeah. yeah. He's, got, he's got the ball on a skink, right? And he's letting him have yeah, two guys. Yeah, he's definitely some ball hunting, couldn't you? Like, this is pretty shit from Gabby, has to be honest. Yeah, like, you he, know, he just all balls, right? Yeah, you've got, you've got a 2D on the Like, he's let him have a 2D on the ball. For, like, what, two dodges? Let's have a look. Uh, he assisted over here, but if this one had, uh, could have done the blitz, right? One, two, three, right. four, five, six. So that one of these could have done... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's a dodge and a GFI, and then another dodge from this guy to cancel the assist, and then like that's really easy two D, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, really yeah. Easy two yeah. D. So probably should have gone for that two D. Mm -hmm. I think. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he killed a Saurus. <laughs> <laughs> it's also pretty good. Yeah, he shouldn't have. He should have just killed the Saurus. Yeah, no, no, I, I agree though. I right? like in in the position so far down. You got to be trying to look for some kind of yeah. high roll out. Randomize the equity. Yeah. yeah I, I who who who's randomized the equity? I have no idea. I'm not it sure. I think it's probably a D. It sounds like a D. It was Rick. It was yes, Rick. Rick. Of course, <laughs> Rick. Yeah, there we go. That was Rick say. <laughs> yeah, Art really enjoyed it. Like we all knew what he meant, but it was a pretty stupid thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Gets the foul. Well, and I, I like again. There is like a a two D on here, but it's a lot harder now, isn't it? Like, there's always going to be a 2D on if you don't have a fully enclosed cage. Against skinks, basically, isn't there? And then there's always a 1D on. It just depends how hard you're going to try to get it. But three dice in skinks is pretty good, isn't it? There you go. It uh, gets a removal. So I quite like this, mm. actually. I mean, obviously, the last turn was made a lot better because he got the cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, but now, like, you know, three dice in him with block is pretty good, isn't it? It does mean that next drive is starting to look kind of okay for him by right as long as the cows come back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's got parity on uh, Saurus. Yep. And M men's up. Yeah, he's got 13 players. So. Mm -hmm. The apple is, you know, was used to no effect. Oh no, they, he didn't apple it because it was a serious injury. Or yeah, what? it's I, 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 honestly, I, I know he must have thought about it for a while, but uh, I'm tempted to agree with him, right? Because man, the six in sixteen is, is ropey, isn't it? Like, it is, surely, yeah. surely a source is going to get KO'd at some point, or, or badly hurt. Like maybe you'll just get serious injuries all day long. In which case, you know, you have to chuck it in at some point, but. It is it is tough, isn't it, to apple over the thirty seven and a half percent yeah. chances. Or a three and eight if you want to be sensible, but <laughs> yeah. It is it is tricky. Absolutely zero effect from the traps. Going yeah. Side. Sad. I wonder yeah. if Gabby, I should have tried to switch sides, right, to try and get some value from the from the trap dog. Well, I, I, I surely something like that kind of worked in favour of the uh, defender, though, right? Well, he's up two players, though, so. I guess, I guess. You know, I thought once he once he removed two, maybe he should try and go up that. Yeah, one. I did just gone for the safest possible thing, I think, yeah. in that situation, though. The love this look, the kid. Yeah, this is good. Page. Ooh, wow. Well, oh, no, it was good ooh. until he went. What he yeah, went hang on, hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah. it was, Maybe it's it bait. Great. It, it, it was going to be great. It was nearly a K Fog cage. But then he made it not one. Maybe it's yeah. a tempter, eh? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. He's not going for it, though. He's just going to smash a smash a Saurus. Oh, I thought he was going to walk into the trap then. <laughs> that would be a pretty run <laughs> bad thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this is the blockless one because of the guard. So that was a pretty nice victimizing the blockless Saurus. I just find run better play knobs, yeah. yeah but, oh, he gets them both back! Nice. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, not terrible at all, really. Like, you know, good chance of overtime and, and being on top in overtime, actually, because. You're up a Saurus, aren't you? A, so a skink, sorry. Oh my god, I can't speak English. You're up a skink, he's, he's capped at 10. Isn't he? Yeah? Yep, he is, yep. <laughs> he's capped at 10 and you've got 12, so you, you've got two more players in the attrition battle for overtime. 
but he's still got an apple. Doesn't, oh, doesn't the settle make it easier to do the one time? Uh... Yeah, you can, you can uh, fill and push in from the the wing sources, right? So you, yeah. you effectively avoid having to roll a power on the first, having to roll a push, sorry, yeah. on the first one. But it just goes to the whole method, so... I think if you're going to do that right, at least you should put a skink behind the Saurus and just push straight through. Yeah. So I, I don't think whole method is the good way to go. No. You, got, you can definitely the... avoid that push. He's got this though, hasn't he? And now he's he has, a... he has, he has, yeah. He's got a skink dodge to fill. He, he executed it well. I, I kind of like the two GFIs since he's got the two B-rolls, right? Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah. Nice. He gets the power, so perfect dice rolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, a perfect execution of of the approach he used. I just think yeah. it just probably wasn't the one to use. Oof. And that was a really terrible decision to one and nine there. <laughs> <laughs> what he should have done was just roll three, 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 and score, shouldn't he? Boy That's what I would have done personally, but <laughs> no, good effort though. Yeah, good effort. He did. Yeah, as you say, he did. He did do his approach correctly, and rolled some good dice. Well, now we're eleven versus ten. Particularly with the uh, no time bank on setups, there's a lot to be yes. said for just doing the setup that you know right, doing the approach that you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're not all careful, are we? Let's be honest. So, wow, he just exposes a skink. Yeah, this is a bit insane. Yeah. Yeah, like I like to mock, you know, the Reddit thing of just blitzing skinks all the time. But, but it is good day, to kill a skink, though, right? Like yeah, <laughs> when people let you, it's all right. Yeah, it? yeah. I, I, okay, I think what he was thinking is that you could two D the saurus right to get extra saurus blocks. Yes. So if he goes for the skink bait, he his saurus blocks. So he's kind of protecting the saurus in a way, right? Yes. Yeah. I and, and he gets then. nice and lucky and get put pushed. Yeah, yeah, as soon as I said it, I realised, yeah, he could have just put a skink here and blitzed him, couldn't he? Yeah. And then that gives him this hit as well. And so then... do you do that, or do you greed the skink? What do you think? So I probably would have gone for the Saurus, honestly. Yeah. I probably would have, because the Saurus win the game, really. Like, technically, skinks, you know, pick up the ball and score, but the game's kind of won and lost in the trenches, isn't it, as it were? So. And I guess not only are you not... Not only are you not knocking them down, they're knocking you down. Beat off or something. Yeah. So I think I think my instinct was it was exactly what I said, like four you get a three D in with block, but now this could have been both of these lizards down and instead it, you're a lizard down and these two are free and obviously the, the the guard on the crocs is like winning him the fight in the middle as well, isn't it? So this is we've gone from knocking down some Saurus to Having three, well, two swords and a cross knockdown, and a, oh, and his skink gets and, back Yeah, then anyway. and you give up your own skink hit, don't you? Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah, so I probably that the Saurus blitz was had to be the way to go here, right? Like, yeah, it's kind of a big swing. I think so, but then you know, on the other hand, he could just cast the skink instantly, couldn't he? Yeah, really yeah. I guess the Saurus block is safer, right? The skink hit is a bit more high rolly. Now he's the blister recoverer. Source. Well, couldn't, couldn't he have um, recovered both? Right, he could have blitzed with this one down. Can go back a bit. Ah, oh, no, he couldn't have. Oh, sorry, disregard. Disregard. <laughs> I thought he was in a different square. Shadowing. Oh man, all the dodges. Dodges all the way through. Fails the pickup. I like not really rerolling only two. It's you've gotta you've gotta hope you can get away with it, haven't you? You just 
do a 2D blitz, get the pal and the scatter, a bit, bit of an unlucky... Oh, but then... <laughs> bit of an unlucky <laughs> scatter, but then that was a pretty good one. And now he can scoot away and leave that, that Saurus behind him, can't he? Which is pretty good. Yep, lots of free lizards for Mumbad here, right? So, f from here, you, you think you can kind of reset a bit, right? And uh, get the team back together. Yeah. It's just him, he says, isn't it? You, you make, muck around Ooh. and pretend to play Bob Ball for seven turns with lizards <laughs> and score. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, now you're just definitely blitzing the Crocs. Yeah. There's, there's no doubt about that. Could have come from up top, I guess, to uh, chain away the Saurus if he wanted, like, if he wanted to. Oh, he's blocking the Saurus. Mm, quite like leaving the Crocs yeah. behind. I really I was, like yeah, I was going to say, I like leaving the Crocs behind. I'm not sure about this. Because yeah. you just keep you keep the Crocs massively relevant, right? Which is what you don't want to do. Yeah. Oh, and definitely at least run away from him. Like, if you're going to leave that, oh, but then he's got skinks that could come and get you as well. But I think if you're doing that, like, move this skin crown to, like, here or something. So that you're, uh, he can't just blitz you and get get his crocs on your skink again. I, I kind of hate that. Maybe I'm wrong for thinking it, but I always kind of, like, hate, you know, that people can get their crocs in. There. Like, not just the crocs, but, like, anything, you know, like, just pressure on the ball. Doesn't fall off. Well, he, I think he got away with that, didn't he? There. Mm. Could surf this uh, Saurus. Mm. So if he pushed him down to there, if he moved that Saurus first, yeah, push yeah. him down to there, <clears throat> and then. Maybe you could have had like a blitz this guy, put him there, two players here and surf him. But then obviously you probably get your your own Saurus count mm, surf. Not necessarily right, because you're following up after you. Yeah, you're all right. You're following up. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, you could you could all pull surf it with skinks maybe. But... Yeah. Oh, interesting. That was a reroll. Uh, I guess there was a reroll somewhere. It's really hard to tell when rerolls are used, unfortunately. <laughs> But to be fair, this is quite good as well, I think, right, that he gets up the pitch a bit and uh, gets, gets out of that, like, corner he's stuck in. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty nice. I like, I like he goes back to the middle. Yeah. Always want to be in the middle on offence. He's just going to have to dodge the... Uh, dodge the Saurus. I think... Ooh, I like the throttle there. Hmm... And I know you're just going to get 2D down, but like at least it takes like committing the skink to do that hit. And it means, you know, the action of the source. Now all of his source are free, pretty much. Yeah. To come in hard. He's not coming hard. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I probably want to follow it, I don't think. Mm, interesting. Yeah, game. but this is a, weird, a bit of a weird turn from Gabias, right? Because he's he's coming in like going away as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's a half man, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I thought he'd do this. I thought you'd get Crocs in the ball, and if you get yeah. Crocs in the ball, then I think you would. Yeah, you, fair, you, fair. Saurus in front. <laughs> and yeah, then the Crocs follow looks good. Yeah. Mm. This is quite cool, isn't it? Yep. Cheeky chain. Really nice. I mean, really nice if you get the power. Not so good if you don't. <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. I guess you could chain chain the the crocs then. So if you power the source, all the crocs are okay. Yeah. Turn thirteen. He's gonna have to. Uh, Make a move. Yeah, he's move he's definitely soon. as Hancock says. He's he's taking the dick around on your offense thing to <laughs> yeah. to, to the extreme. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really want to get away from this Crocs. I wanted to get away from it a few turns ago, but now you're really running out of time, so... <coughs> Both down nice in a way there, to be honest. Yeah. 
keeps the heat off, doesn't it? It's, mm -hmm. it's about the first turn he hasn't had the uh, ball carrier based. Oh, and there's a dodge off fail. So here we go. We get a scoot up. Scoot up this turn. Crocs is free to take up on the source as well. And you've got another source for you there. And it's just, they've just digged around and got away with it. Yeah. Yeah. Should have moved first, right, in case of one in, one in 12, 9, 6. Yeah. Oh, my oh. God. Gets the removal. Apparel. Yeah. Well, yeah, I say Apo, like it's 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 a slightly interesting one just because it's so close to the end of the drive, right? Yeah, that's an interesting Apple because it is really close to the end of the drive, and uh, and you know, like overtime looking very likely. Oh, oh there's he a... didn't have the cross <laughs> There's a skink there. <laughs> I didn't see that. Uh, oh, not at all. Well, yeah, there was there was briefly a skink there. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from here it looks like we're kind of okay as Runbad, right? Yeah, and it's Runbad's mm. drive, so, you know, like you're getting a 75% chance to get that KO back, and it looks like you've already lost the drive, so, yeah, that's a very, uh, very spicy apple. Yeah, I mean, 25% of a source is, is pretty valuable, but yeah, could have, could have considered not doing it. Depends which 25% I get, isn't it? If it's, if it's, if it's the sneaky dick, then you probably... <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, he is free to move, isn't he? He is free the to move. The ball carrier is. Yeah, but everything else is going to be... one other guy. Yeah. 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 So he's mm. just going to tag the, him and then move him, yeah. So I quite like that. I like quite like just get your safe moves done because everything else is, is at least some dice. Yeah. Oh, uh -oh. oh, he was gonna blitz with Crocs. I quite like blitzing this guy. Blitz, blitzing his Crocs, right? Oh. oh. Yeah. Agreed. So, agreed. Yeah. So he I wanted think to one um, tag the Crocs, didn't he, with the prehensile tails? I was going with the Crocs blitz, but it's just too risky with the one. Yeah. Uh, it's true. Getting the, yeah, getting the Crocs in is good, right? Because even if you get that Saurus out, like the Skinks are still gonna roll threes to two to your ball, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, so like this one here on the ground, right? Can we, um... Maybe you even do you even GFI blitz with the no, it doesn't really make much. Well, it makes a little bit of difference. Could GFI blitz with the saws instead. Yeah, it could have done. I I quite liked. Um... You could have come in here, and then you could have blocked, then that saves you that dodge. Yeah, going backwards there, I don't know. Yeah, and then you go there, and then you 1D him, and then run around. And yeah. then obviously if you get the power, which is 50%, then that gets the tail off of your other skink. Yeah, 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 that's a pretty good idea. But, um... But yeah, I'm really surprised that he he did he did that skink dodge, because he brings the, he does he does the dodge and brings the bottom skink in, doesn't he? But then he doesn't do the 1D. Like, surely, even if you don't do what you said, you do that 1D before you do that 4 plus skink dodge. Yeah. Yeah. Change for three plus skink dodge instead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, because fifty percent of the time you're gonna knock him down. But but I guess ultimately, like in in this position already, he's in a lot of trouble. Right, like, like he's getting two D no matter what he does with a pretty high chance right yeah. next turn. So it it like the the problem is here came earlier really, didn't they? Yeah. In this drive, like he didn't didn't get the penetration early enough, did he? As you often say. Yeah. He had that one turn when he could have just moved away from the Crocs and gone off the yeah, field a bit. Yeah. He just didn't, unfortunately. Even the first turn as well, right? Like go going for the skink kit and yeah. kind of destabling Isaac his drive a little bit when he could have fought the source a bit more instead, maybe. Because mm -hmm. they're what's going to get in your way. The skinks are like yeah. a last minute sort of yeah. option that you use later on. Yeah. Just get the power. It's the power. It's the pickup. Okay. Ooh, are we gonna um oh no. So what could here we have done go. here? We could have we could have chained this Saurus, right? Or did or was the crocs down? The, no, he just recovered the crocs, didn't he? Yeah, I think so. So the crocs could have done that punch and then been stood where he was, and then you could have punched here, gone there. Yeah. And then you've got the skink punch punching and if he paddles then he pushes your Saurus forward. 
Yeah. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six Geophyte with two Demon with block. Seems yeah. pretty good. And that down skink's actually in range, isn't it? So if you do get the ball down here, the down skink's a pretty good retrieval. It can just go and yeah. score straight away. I mean, I guess the, the Saurus skink is in range as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Never mind. Doesn't get the power. Would have got the knockdown with block, but doesn't get the power. So yeah, I would have, I would have tried to get the, the Saurus in for the block here. Yeah. Would have been my it's, approach to It's something turn. that like, you, you have to look for a lot in particular as lizards right because the swords are so powerful and and they're so easy to tie up right like being able to identify those those kinds of chains is is really important for them yep. there you go a bit of a shame in it run bad we're all we all like run bad nothing against gabias of course but uh yeah. guess with a chance though yes yeah pretty pretty nice isn't it the um the second chance yeah, Absolutely. a few little things I might have done differently, but it certainly didn't play like badly as it were. Yeah. Yeah, didn't do any uh, fouls, did he? I guess he didn't have any guard, to be fair. Yeah, like, it was more run average than run bad. <laughs> 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 nothing, nothing terrible at all. Um, but yeah, just maybe he should have got away from the, the crocs at that point when he had the chance to get the crocs. And yeah, and, and then... And then yeah, the the blitz on the skink, you know, if he'd gone for the source. But it's, it's tough, right? It's tricky with that. With that the other Crocs having the guard was like winning that LOS, wasn't it? And that, that made winning the yeah. LOS pretty difficult. So it was tricky. I guess the, the the one guard is is pretty nice in the Liz Liz matchup, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Right. Anyway, um, that was that was that. And uh, thank you very much, Eliod and. Hancock, great, uh, great having you on. <laughs> Thank you, and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.